Good evening. My name is Paul Cannon, and welcome to the final installment of our on-air series before we go into our summer hiatus. For the past six years, I've had the enormous privilege of living here in Germany and working with the Ensemble Moderne. As an American, I feel very far away from the current events in my home country. The great American writer, Mark Twain, once wrote that travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. I don't think he was talking about going to the beach. Over the last six years, I have been lucky enough to travel the world and see many different parts of it. And I've had the opportunity to play music with people of every color, every orientation, every background. And I know from experience that talent and imagination, those hallmarks of our humanity, have absolutely nothing to do with race or gender. It is time to challenge the systems and the institutions, and where necessary, the individuals who would keep us divided. There's a lot more to say, but I think it's also time for listening and reflection. I'd like to play this first piece for George Floyd and for everyone who has taken to the streets in the weeks since his murder. If you're not furious, you're not paying attention.
So that was Fury by Rebecca Saunders. Um, I've had the great pleasure of performing that piece many, many times with the ensemble, both as a concerto version and as well with the uh, Emmanuel Gott Dance Company as part of our ballet production, Story Water. Um, there are two versions of this piece. Uh, the version I am used to playing is Fury 2, which is a similar piece, except that it's accompanied by a small ensemble. Um, this was my first time playing the Fury 1 uh, for solo bass. Um, that was an interesting experience. Um, Rebecca Saunders, as well as many of you may know, was the winner of the Siemens Prize just two years ago. Um, she was the first female composer ever to win the grand prize there. It's about time. Um, we're all very happy for her. This next piece um, comes from the Italian double bass player Stefano Scodinibio. Um, these are a set of six etudes. Uh, tonight I will be playing four of them. Uh, these are Joke, Dust, Far Away, and On Turning. Uh, the reason I like to play these pieces uh, is, is because Stefano Scodinibio was one of the great developers of our instrument. And though I never met him, his fingerprints are on many, many pieces which I play as part of my job in the ensemble. Um, he worked with Luigi Nono, with Luciano Berrio, with uh, Scalzi and, and Chirino and Brian Ferniehow and on and on and on. He was one of the biggest figures in, in contemporary double bass playing for many years. He unfortunately passed away eight years ago from an illness. Um, these pieces are some early works of his, which demonstrate a wide variety of techniques which he developed. Um, the first movement, Joke, uh, attempts to show as many different techniques as possible in as little time as possible. Um, you'll notice throughout these pieces there's a particular attention paid to harmonics, which are particularly special on, on this instrument. Uh, I can also highly recommend the original recordings uh, from Stefano himself uh, if you are curious after this performance. So, joke.
dust.
far away. On turning.
So, the last piece on the program this evening is by Jacob Druckmann. This is Valentine from 1969. Uh, this is kind of a legendary piece among double bass players. Um, first of all, for its non-standard notation and non-standard uh, use of sound and use of instruments. He treats it more like a percussion instrument, even using a timpani mallet for half of the piece. Um, I think there's two interesting pieces of information or trivia about this piece before I'll start. The first is just a rumor, um, but supposedly, according to legend, the original title of the piece was Sodomy. And the publisher didn't like that very much, so they changed it to Valentine. Take that with a grain of salt. Who knows if it's true, but if it is true, that does change the nature of the piece quite a bit. <clears throat> the other thing is that the original uh, conception of the piece was actually to be done with another piece of his for electronics called Synapse. 
Uh, and the idea was to begin with the, the electronic part, which is about 10 or 12 minutes long, and then the bass takes over. So there's not really any overlap. Um, I won't be performing with the electronics this evening as I don't own the rights to that, uh, but I would love to see a version of that at some point. Um, but a funny relic of, of that situation is there is an instruction in the score which says to pretend to play for about a minute before the piece actually begins. And the tradition has become for everyone to play for a minute uh, silently. Uh, I do believe that's a mistake uh, because most people don't realize that it's actually meant to be with, a, with an electronic recording. <laughs> so I will omit that first minute this evening. So, Valentine by Jacob Druckmann. Please enjoy.
Thank you very much for joining us. I want to thank as well our friends, uh, the Zehund Media, who made all of these concerts possible, uh, as well as the Streaming Factory. Um, these concerts were sponsored by the Kulturamt des Frankfurt am Main. Uh, so thank you very much to all of our partners, and thank you again for watching. Good night. <laughs>